Hey everybody, Steve here with the New Geek. Uh, sitting here trying to find a spring football game for uh, my Miami Hurricanes on my TV over here before I get started. How's everybody doing today? Got a few minutes before that starts. So let's uh, jump into our game. Let's get this thing rolling. Got a little bit of time this afternoon. Uh, not a whole lot. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna play a little bit of City Skylines. Definitely want to try to get the city as far as I can in the next week or two. Um, I am greatly looking forward to Manor Lords. That's coming out on the 26th. And so I do plan on taking a break from City Skylines and with that break, I will probably call this city a wrap. Um, I've learned a lot since I first started building, and I would just like to start from scrap, uh, scratch at some point here soon. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, let's go ahead and. work on our city today. Let's fix up that. <clears throat> yeah, so our last one, we uh, expanded out this little suburb area. You know, nice kind of little sparse community. Uh, should really boost up the uh, attendance here at this elementary school once it gets growing. Uh, toss in a few offices and uh, uh, commercial in the area just on this main street here but for the most part uh, didn't want a lot of businesses in this area all right so now where do we want to focus our attention um it's kind of Actually, I know exactly what I want to focus on. I do not have any oil. Oh, yes, I do. I have oil. I don't have ore. Yes, I don't have any ore. And I think... Obviously getting it from somewhere. Because I have a surplus. I guess it's coal is it it's a coal yeah so coal is right over here i have z i am producing zero of that I'm not using it so I, it would just be an export for us but i was kind of wanting to build a little area kind of a coal mining town and i think i'm gonna buy kind of all these tiles through here So, I'm just going to buy just all these. And yeah, let's go ahead and start over here and let's look at our ore. So, this is all of our ore. Coal, sorry. Coal. And so... I want to build a grid. Let's see. very hilly over here. I think we're going to want to take this height here. Really just kind of smooth out our area. Okay. 
and we'll clean it up to make it a little bit more realistic. get our roads down. Didn't do a very good job on this area right here. Let's uh, so we're gonna have to clean up a lot of this. gonna do two different ones. Let's see, we'll probably do coming off of each side. and adjust this area.
90 on that. You're tuned in to Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, well, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But while we are discussing the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human... Thank yep. you, so Professor. So we'll put one more. It is a question of priority. One more road. I guess I should have moved this further down. Now we've got to get this connected to this over here. I think I'm going to make this, we're going to add in an interchange and I'm going to make this a highway.
and I think we're gonna have to this one connected. Let's see if we can get that a little bit better. Actually, I'll probably end up taking this road and going alongside this highway. So that it doesn't connect directly into it. All right, and so now very nice. Ah, shit, except it's the wrong type of road. Son of a let's try this again.
There we go. So yeah, water and sewer. connected there and now oof. I need my train to go under shit I should have put Train tracks. Nice. Ah. Uh, for that. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. How delightful. Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. <laughs> What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Y'all got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. Oh, let me guess. Lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself? Hmm? Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Oh, yes, yeah, soul. A raison d'etre? Mm. 
My sisters say whoever you got playing the keys got more funk in his pinky. Hmm, but I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbated. Classical music has been known since the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the lay person. Now, let's hear another one of those soulful cans. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that there floats we our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. So now our trains set back up. Smooth that out. So our outside power connection. So I think I'm going to take that, come up here, and go straight across and try to get that going out that way. figure out how to connect this up. I guess it can be a bridge over this though. We gotta figure it out later. For now, I need to get highway over to here. So we'll go there. Oh, that's it. Quite the. Yeah, quite the terrain right there. So I think we want to go from. Go from here.
there. I did a very good job. Side. <laughs> 